the face of Auckland is changing and so its culture. Diwali, which is India's biggest and brightest festival, has been held in several Auckland venues over the years. It's good to see that we have a, a Hare Krishna sect here in New Zealand and they are basically Europeans oh. and they are showing us the true meaning of what Diwali is. It's something different. Auckland's kind of boring sometimes, so it's cool to have a festival that's, you know, different culture, lots of food, lots of dancing, so it's a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, not, not maybe exactly, because in Russia we have some uh, programs about India, a lot of cereals, and we can see this dance, like today. So. It's pretty cool. It's cool music and dancing. Mm, I think uh, it's helped me uh, get to know about the uh, performance like the music and as well as the food. I took the survey so there were people who were not happy about the fact that you know we, we are not happy because that's not uh, Diwali. We're going to celebrate it in November. Um, I guess it's sort of money making. They, they are more into money making rather than actually celebrating for our culture. So the people travel down to India to celebrate Diwali. So if the celebration would have been around actual date of Diwali, I don't think so many people would have come down. I think it's uh, not properly managed, it's too noisy and uh, it's, uh, it's sometimes feel like it's not good for a family to come over here and enjoy. The show in itself, had it been a cultural show, it would have been wonderful. But if we talk it, uh, about from the perspective of you know celebrating Diwali, I think this is not what Diwali is for Indians and any Indian would agree with me on that. It's more to show New Zealand is a multicultural society and also to draw people like you into this country that oh New Zealand oh they they celebrate Diwali as like us and they are very accommodative and tolerant and all that. Mm -hmm.